Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I'm Jane Aldrich. Greg has the night off. Well, across the country and here in mid-Michigan, families and friends came together to enjoy the day and to remember the sacrifice our fallen veterans made so that we're able to celebrate holidays in the first place. As Joe Khalil reports for our living veterans, today is a bittersweet reminder that while they were able to return home, too many of their friends and comrades did not. Uh, all four of our great grandpas were veterans. What are you going to do in the parade today? Full candy at children. No matter what brings these proud flag bearing Americans out to Memorial Day parades, the why remains the same. Well, it's a day to honor our veterans. These two longtime friends have quite a lot to reflect upon today. I feel proud to ride down that street. I could down it probably a thousand times a year, but. This is the one day that really means something. On July 1st, Robert Sheldon turns 94. Exactly 72 years earlier, his 22nd birthday, Private First Class Sheldon landed on the beach at Normandy. We got a little ways in and they stopped us because they were still fighting ahead of us. Sheldon says moments like those he'll never forget, although at times he wishes he could. She get burned out tanks along the road. And you know there's soldiers in them. And today, Sheldon says, serves as a bittersweet but necessary reminder that as Americans, we can never get lost in the holiday and forget the soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice. You can have fun and still honor, honor the dead. They're the ones that went and protect this country and all you, the people in it, and they should be thankful. Army Corporal Roger Shepard served in Korea. Like his friend Sheldon, he feels it's his duty to support Memorial Day parades to honor those who weren't as lucky as he. I wish you appreciate all our veterans that have come home and those that haven't come home. And it's more than just talk to Shepard. This parade in Holt is the third he's attended today. He says it's the least he can do. In Holt, Joe Khalil, 6 News.